Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Airgun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. I'm joined here in the man cave by Guy Chisulo. And for today's episode, we've got a really unique CO2 action rifle. It's called the Gletcher M1891. At first glance, it looks like a Mosin Nagant with a short barrel and a chopped off stock. What do you think of this thing at first glance, man? It's definitely unique looking at it. I own a Mosin Nagant rifle and I can tell you from right now, I don't think I'd want to fire this thing if it was a firearm. <laughs> uh, they, they got quite a bit of oomph to them. Yeah. We did some research on the interweb and wound up on Wikipedia's Mosin Nagant page and the closest variant we can find to something that looked like this was basically a sawed off Mosin Nagant, something that unsavory types used to do to their rifles to, to, to be able to conceal them in their long jackets. Yeah, I believe they called it an Obrez or something like that, but yeah. I don't think it was an official model. No, it wasn't. It kind of had like a chopped off pistol grip and just like something the unsavory types might tuck in their, uh, their long jacket or something like that. Well, we think it's gonna be a great episode. We've never seen anything quite like this. It looks really well made, full metal receiver, really cool. What a great sound that is. Well, hope you folks enjoy the show. Let's go over some specs and details and then we'll start shooting. All right, let's go ahead and find out how fast this baby shoots by doing some crony testing. Me and Guy took some practice shots earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this CO2 capsule in the magazine. One thing I really like about the magazine is that it has this removable key for installing the CO2 cartridge. Now this might have some gas left in it. Go ahead and replace that. Tighten it just enough until it pierces, and that's it. Okay, let me go ahead and load up some Avanti Precision Shot BBs, and do some testing. To put the rifle on safe, simply pull the spring-loaded section of the bolt back, turn it to the left, and now you're on safe and the trigger will not fire. A cool feature that this BB shooting replica shares with its firearm cousin is the ability to remove the bolt. First, remove the magazine, pull back the bolt, and with the bolt retracted, press lightly on the trigger and the bolt slides right out. To put the bolt back in, repeat the process, Press on the trigger, slide the bolt in, lock it down, and you're ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and do some accuracy testing with the Gletcher M1891. What we've noticed after taking a few practice shots is that the rear sight has a little slop in it. It's got a little play. It's not adjustable for windage, but we're gonna do our best. So we're gonna be using uh, Daisy Avanti BBs. We're at 15 feet, and let's see how I do. All right, folks, it's time to do the trigger testing on the Gletcher M1891. Now, typically we do trigger testing on action pistols just to let you folks at home know how enjoyable the action pistol is to use. It's not gonna be a match grade trigger by any means. No. Um, but so far, we really love the bolt action. 
Guy, weren't you talking about the safety and the trigger earlier too? Yeah, every, everything is the same as, I have a Mosin rifle, mm -hmm. and um, everything is pretty much the same on it. I think the trigger on this might be a little bit lighter than the trigger on my firearm. Though. Yeah, well, military triggers are not known to be light at all. No, they have a ton of creep, and you can't really feel any discernible stages in them. So. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and do five pulls on the trigger gauge and see what we have. Um, we don't have to load it or anything for that, which no. is cool. We can dry fire uh, this rifle. So let me get set up here. Three pounds, 12 ounces. And one more. Okay, let's see what we have. Average, three pounds, 15.5 ounces. Awesome. <laughs> Good guess in there. Yeah, I would venture that on my firearm, I think it's over five. I've never checked it, but it feels a lot heavier than that. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the sound testing, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the show. All right, folks, we're all set up here to do the sound testing in the man cave. What we love about action pistols is that you can shoot them indoors. They're not that loud at all. Right, all you really need is, well, we used a box and uh, you get some heavy towels or blankets, wad them up into the cardboard box, put them in a safe direction, and they'll stop BBs from these things from probably up to 450 feet per second, so you really don't need much. That's right, but always remember to wear your safety glasses because of uh, ricochets. Uh, we've had a few of them here from time to time, and they're not fun. But as long as you have these on, you'll save your peepers. All right, for this test, we are going to load some BBs in here. Well, we do have some in here now, because that always makes the sound different. All right, let's see what the loudest reading we can get is. I'm gonna turn this up like this. the sound of the bolt might be louder than the actual report, so I'm going to try to do it nice and easy. All right, folks, it looks like 100.7 decibels is the loudest we could get indoors with the Gletcher M1891. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed it that high, actually. When we shot it outside, it didn't sound like it would be that high, but it's still really not that bad. When you're inside, you got the walls that the, the sound reverberates off of, so... Yeah. Sounds louder. All right, folks, it's time for us to give you our personal feedback on the Gletcher M1891. In my opinion, it's a really well-made CO2 action rifle. The stock is solid, it's not hollow plastic. The wood actually looks pretty good. I like the fact that the entire action is made from metal. The bolt action is nice and smooth. It feels very realistic. It can be put on safe. The bolt is removable. There's two things I didn't like about this. And one of them is the fact that I wish it was a full-sized rifle. I wish it wasn't cut off here. And also the play in that rear sight kind of threw us off a little bit. But other than that, I think it's great. What do you think, guy? I pretty much agree with everything you said. I'd like to see it as a full-size rifle, too. If they fix the sight, I think it would be great. It's, it's unique. I've never seen anything like it in the BB gun world. It was a ton of fun to shoot. I think it's a really nice replica. Yeah, so do I. I think anyone who owns a, a Mosin Nagant will really like to have one of these in their collection. Just as a conversation piece, I think it's worth it just for that sake. It's got good accuracy at 15 feet. What else can I say? It's Kind of fun to shoot, a little bit awkward, but we think this deserves a place in your collection. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. That's right.